everyone, so um, if you click the link from the last video, that is why you are here. And the reason why you are here is because I went and spent a hell of a lot of freaking money on a pair of shoes. Yeah, I bought a pair of shoes. So, I was just, I was just on my lunch through, going moseying through Elden Square this, this afternoon. I was like, And then I walked past this place, Soul Trader, and I was like, <coughs> and I pulled on the brakes, and I was like, fuck, what was that in the window? And it was Jeffrey Campbell, not Jeffrey Campbell himself, Jeffrey Campbell's shoes. And I was like, holy motherfucking God. I can actually buy them in a shop. I was like, oh. So there were already the ones that I have um, that were in the display, which I'll go and get two seconds. So it's these that I have. These are my bebes, okay? Now, I already have them, but they were in different colors and, you know, suede and this and that and the next thing. And I was like, eh, I don't really want those. I don't really need them, so. So I was like, oh, well, this is a bit of a disappointment. Decided to just leave the shop. And I was like, let me have a walk around. And then I had a walk around. And then I found the rest of them. <laughs> and that is when I came across what I'm about to reveal to you. So, it's pretty standard box. I think every single pair of... Um, Jeffrey Campbell comes in these. It's got the cute little kitty cat. Um, and the shoes come in a, a bag, a bag each, which is quite nice. And I could have bought the protective stuff for three ninety nine, but I didn't. I was cheapskate. I was like, eh, it's all right. And um, last, I decided. I tweeted about this. I decided to buy myself a pair of night walks. And I was like, curses, curses that I got paid. I can't possibly afford these. And then I thought, oh, whatever. So that is what the label looks like. These are size, these are 38s. Um, in European size or um, number fives, number fives, size fives in UK size and they are massive. I, I'm so tall in these. It's unreal. I'm, I surpass 5'10 in these definitely. It adds about five inches to me. So yeah, they, they come in a, um, a little bag so you can store them nicely and I will definitely be storing them. Um, Cause you gotta look after your shoes. These ones have been scuffed to bits, right? But I'm gonna take them and see if I can get them sort of fixed up. But these won't get scuffed like that, they'll just get marked. So I might have to go and get some suede stuff in any case. But yeah, I'm gonna put them on for you guys and let you have a little look at what they look like on.
guys, so, okay, I have had to actually put you guys in my kitchen cupboard. You are right now in my kitchen cupboard, yeah? So that's how tall I've had to like, set my camera up to show you guys how tall this shoe actually makes me. Now, bear in mind I'm 5'5", five five, and apparently a little bit. Um, <laughs> I have the shoes on, well I have one shoe on right now, so that's why I'm like wobbling about. So I have one of those shoes on right now, okay? You're going to see how short I actually am with no shoes on. And this is going to be just to show you how tall they actually make you. They make you very tall. So, you ready for this? Okay, you ready? I'm about to disappear. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello. So it's like I don't know. It's like a head and a half, right? Like a foot and a half. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a fucking huge amount. But that's how tall they make you. They actually make you very, very tall. So yeah. So um, these cost me one hundred and twenty nine pounds. I do believe that you probably pay about the same amount online for a shoe like this. It is a novelty shoe. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't wear this to work. I tried them on to show everybody at work and I wore them for about half an hour trying to do highlights in this lady's hair. And half an hour standing in the same place with a shoe like this is not a good idea. If you're moving about and also if you've had a bit to drink, I would imagine that um, the pain would subside. It was pretty it was a bit too much for my feet, you know, standing in one place. You would not wear something like this for work. However, they're a gorgeous shoe. If you're going to purchase something like this, there are plenty of replicas out there. I don't really know how well, I don't know how good they are. And also I don't know how comfortable they are because a well-made shoe is going to last you years and years and years and years to come. Um, and a well made shoe is also often a little bit more comfortable uh, from my experience in any case. I like a cheap shoe though too, so don't worry about that. But yeah, that that's my little, um, you know, first impressions. Um, so yeah, I, I my, to my ever growing little, you know, sort of collection that I've got going on here, I guess. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been a little bit insightful for you. If anybody does actually want to buy these, look around online, search online. Um, Soul Trader, um, you've got Soul Struck, you've got uh, Revolve. There's, there's so many websites out there, but make sure that if you want to buy authentic ones, make sure you go to the Jeffrey Campbell site and they can direct you to um, all the all the places or all the websites that um, they actually supply. So yeah, thanks very much for watching this video guys and I shall see you later. Mwah. Bye!